Magandang araw sa lahat ng mga viewers natin sa The Global Filipino Magazine. Kapag pinag-usapan natin ang kwento ng tagumpay, wala po kaming sawang magbibigay sa inyo ng iba't ibang istorya ng ating mga kababayan. At katabi ko ngayon, ang uh, Life Support Instructor and Training Coordinator ng Praxis Health Services, Mr. Joseph Esperida. Tagasan ka, Joseph, sa atin. Uh, I'm from Desmarino City, Cavite. Ah, okay, Caviteño. Uh, Caviteño. Itatapang ang mga Caviteño, sabi uh, nila. Medyo. Anong ginagawa ni Joseph Esperida yung time na yun? Paano ka uh, nagplano uh, na pumunta sa Dubai? Ano ba yung puros ang pinapos mo? Okay. Well, uh, going back, 2009, I graduated uh, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I, I passed the board exam. Siguro, 2010, uh, yung earliest na schedule. And then, ayun, uh, immediately I joined an international humanitarian organization. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with Philippine Red Cross, uh -huh. yan, medyo nagtagal ako dyan. Uh, doon, medyo marami tayong nakuha skill, mm -hmm. knowledge, and yun, yun din yung halos naging foundation ko pagdating ko dito sa UAE. Aside from that, nagtrabaho din ako sa Muntinlupa City Fire and Rescue as a firefighter and emergency response uh, personnel. So yun, medyo may short stint tayo doon, o short uh, time tayo doon na nag-stay. And uh, aside from that, uh, nagtuturo rin ng mga disaster management courses, uh, nag ent program din ako. So ayun, until makapag-design nga, mag-move in dito. Actually, sa Abu Dhabi ako bumiretso. Na-practice mo, halos na-practice mo yung ano, pag-heal nurse mo, ano? Uh, saglit. Pero nag-focus kasi ako sa pre-hospital setting. Pag sinabi ko nurse, uh, as a nurse, uh -huh. marami kang pwedeng gawin. Uh -huh. So, ang tingin ko sa sarili ko, mas magiging effective ako pag live action yung trabaho ko. Hindi sa likod ng, uh -huh. personally ah, uh -huh. hindi sa likod ng desk or ng ward. So, uh, doon, doon ako nag-focus as uh, emergency personnel, firefighter actually. Pwede kasi minsan nag interview ako ng mga graduate ng nurse, uh -huh. nursing, uh -huh. mga nurse sila. Okay, tapos iba yung napapasok ka nilang linya. Uh, oh, In your okay. case, talagang ano? Talagang... Medyo, o. Oh, medyo dun pa rin, pero hindi siya talaga ng hospital setting. So, oh. pre-hospital setting naman. Okay, o. Oh. So, why did you opt to, ano, to uh, leave the Philippines, your uh, job, and, ano, and try your luck here in the ano, UAE? Well, opportunity-wise, uh, ma although meron naman sa Pilipinas, yun nga lang talagang ma-out of line ka. Uh -huh. Maraming career na maganda doon, pero out of line. Isa pa, Alam naman natin yung mas maganda yung uh, kitaan yan. sa uh, outside the Philippines. Eh, uh, kasi experience diba, wise. Yan, sabi uh, nila, uh, kung hanin mo, I, that's why I, I also would like to ask you, bakit mo kinuha yung nursing as a your course? <laughs> diba sabi nga nila, mag-aral ka ng nursing, mag-abroad ka, mas malaking kita mo. Uh, diba may mga ganung ano tayo noon, mga ano? So, who, who decided this course, this nursing course? Uh, actually, second choice ko lang yung nursing. First choice ko talaga is join the AFP okay. or maging sundalo. Talaga? Yan, may, mga, ah, ay, may mga idol akong diba? mga tuwing ko na mga Marines. Uh -huh. Merong, uh, actually, dalawing Marines. Diba? Sumalangit ako. Pero pwede so, naman na, diba? Yung mga yun talaga, nursing sa sundalo. Uh, pwede rin naman. Or police yun talaga. Pero medyo kasi nga kasag sa ganyan na ng laban nun sa isang insurgent group sa Mindanao, medyo napasabak yung uh, one of my uncles. Namatay. So, yung nanay ko, sabi niya sa akin, kung papasok ka dyan, manahimig sa bahay. So, sabi ko, eh, kasagsagan naman ng nursing uh, field sa US. Mm -hmm. CGFNS. Oo. Sabi ko, na-realize ko, o, sige na nga, kung hindi na makakapag-aral, mag-nursing na lang. So, let's start your, ano, your, discussing your life here in uh, the UAE. Saan ka talaga? Sa Dubai o sa Abu Dhabi ka nag-start? Abu Dhabi muna talaga. Diretso ng Abu Dhabi, 2014. End of 2014. Actually, nag-new year ako sa aeroplano eh. Hmm. Uh, ayun. So, from there on, hindi, hindi pa rin ako nakapasok agad uh, close to my chosen career. Uh, pumasok ako noon sa real estate. Then, siguro ko one year lang. Then, doon na nagsimula na ako mag-join sa Praxis. Actually, hmm. Praxis GCS na siya. Okay. Dati, small so, pala. Uh, Na-mention mo na talaga itong Praxis Health Services. Ano uh, ang uh, services na ginagawa niyo? Well, para? Praxis Health Services is just one of the departments ng Praxis DCS as a group. So, si Praxis DCS, meron siyang uh, 
three businesses. Actually, magdadagdag ng isa pa. Pero to mention muna, yung training department, which is yung hawak ko, mm-hmm. meron din government relations, so mm-hmm. more on HR, PR, mm-hmm. and government relations side ng PRO services. Mm-hmm. Meron din health consultancy. So, yung aking uh, bossing, mm-hmm. uh, isa siyang Harvard graduate mm-hmm. ng uh, health management yata o postgraduate. Basta, pagka hindi ko isa na siyang doctor of mm-hmm. philosophy, mm-hmm. pagdating sa health management, yun nga, sa Harvard siya mm-hmm. graduate. Last, 2007. Gano'ng katagal yun ng ano, pinag-operate ng process? Uh, 2016, we started the uh, ah, practice, na rin, no? health services. So, tapos, 2018, uh, naging praxis GCS na siya. Uh-huh. Uh, until ayun nga nabit namin si FI okay. dun kami nag-start actually ng partnership with FI na. Uh-huh. as we're trying to, uh, to give you the fact that FI and uh, Praxis are partners since 2018 18 diba and you were with us during the, uh, the last anniversary before uh-huh. pandemic no? uh-huh. 2019 so ano ang ginagawa paano natin pwedeng may salarawan yung partnership that uh, FI and Praxis are are doing. A benefit is, of course, vice versa. Mm-hmm. Uh, we try to help yung mga students, uh, specifically caregiver, uh, nursing assistant students ng FI to obtain yung kanilang BLS certificate. Okay, so we have BLS. What does it support. mean? But BLS. Basic life support for healthcare providers. Okay. So ito yung one of the requirements uh, kung papasok ka from a different career to a medical career, which is yung uh, caregiver uh-huh. or nursing assistant. So one of which as usually requirement pa ng mga uh, employers hospital based mm-hmm. yeah that you, that you need to uh, provide certificate na you pass yung yung basic life support course okay. doon po pasok si Praxis DCS Praxis, uh, okay. and through FI uh, doon naman kami binibigyan ng FI na students okay to so to it's a uh, ano it's a re- requirement for yes. any medical ano uh, related uh, work no so ngayon, gaano ka importante ito? Kapag wala ka talaga nito, hindi makakomplete yung ano mo. Pag wala kang BLS certificate, chances of you getting employed is medyo mababa. Okay. And at uh, the same time, it will be required talaga by, by the, uh, especially uh, if you're going to go undergo yung mga government agencies na mags, magpapacertify ka. Uh-huh. So requirement nila yan. Even doctors, nurses, um, PTs, dentists, okay. they undergo this uh, training uh-huh. and specifically yun nga uh, medyo na introduce na si caregiver as and, and the nursing assistant as an actual career dito sa UAE uh-huh. and ang maganda lang rin dito more than the certificate more okay. than the requirements in times of uh, emergency specifically cardiac arrest alam mo gagawin mo ito rin yung ini-impart namin sa mga students hindi lang to ako personally ito yung mission ko na hindi lang to para maka makapunta kayo sa inyong last part ng inyong caregiver course na 1.4 yan at 2.2 ganyan so hindi lang doon if you're going into a career lalo na healthcare you need to be prepared people are expecting you to perform paano kung halimbawa one on one na kayo bedside sa pasyente mo uh-huh. ang kaalaga mo is matanda uh-huh. ikaw yung inaasahan ng, ng family nung, nung yung alaga na pag may nangyari sa kanya alam mo gagawin mo uh-huh. eh hindi ka nag-train uh-huh. o sabihin mo nag-train ka kumuha ka lang ng certificate pero hindi mo naman talaga yung absorb seryoso okay so we're, we're, we're dealing with lives uh-huh. so even doon sa Philippines pa kapag nagtuturo ako yan din yung sinasabi ko sa mga naging historian ko uh-huh. hindi lang po ito para sa certificate para po ito sa pag-save ng buhay especially this time ahawak ng buhay ng tao so so basically yan yung parang personal so important yung talaga yung BLS no? even, even lay rescuers even everyone yung sa production team Uh-oh. even back offices they, mm. they need to learn this kasi again cardiac arrest hindi mo alam kung kailan mangyayari yan mamaya eh, eh, wag naman sana pero habang may naglalakad yun sa labas pwede siyang uh, magkaroon ng arrhythmia so it can lead to cardiac arrest cardiac so arrest, since meron kang BLS training are you ano uh, capable of doing this or are you allowed to do this? In the UAE alone, limitations? Uh, good thing with the UAE, mayroon na akong nabalitaan na uh, they're trying to adapt yung Good Samaritan law ng US. Ah, okay. So it will save you from any legal liabilities that may happen uh, once you decided to help or start in CPR or on, on a person mm. who's undergone uh, cardiac arrest. Okay. Uh, hindi ko lang sure kung uh, ano na yung fear na news about this, but they're trying to adapt this same law. Uh-huh. Uh, since I think 2016 or 17 ko nakita yung news about that uh-huh. pero again people are being uh, advised or even required 
to undergo this training. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You're based in Abu Dhabi. How do you perform your tasks and your trainings? Especially yung mga ano namin. Yung campus namin dito sa Dubai. Ako, Abu Dhabi alone, uh, in, in span of three months, siguro kaya natin ng 150 katao. Especially before pandemic pa, okay. uh, umabot ang ganun. So hindi ko rin alam kung paano ko nagagawa ng paraan. Pero with the help of uh, FI, yung mga deans and mga instructors, at at the same time, mga instructors ko rin, uh-huh. medyo napapagtagpi-tagpi namin. And ngayon, yung bagong partnership is ipapasok na natin yung other campuses. So, sa laki ng FI, kaya. good luck. Pero kakayanin natin, sabi nga ni FI, kaya natin. Kaya natin ito, <laughs> diba? We would like to invite everyone to participate in one of our classes or contact us if ever you need uh, such training like BLS. Other than that, hindi lang tayo BLS pala. We're also doing first aid. For lay rescuers naman, even schools, industries, uh, other allied health professionals, we, we can also help you with your uh, first aid or CPR courses. You can contact us at uh, yes, praxished.com. Or, you know, you can call 056-722-552. Pag ayun, binigay ko. Ayan, sir. Thank you, sir. Po. <laughs> okay lang po. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nakasama natin muli. At uh, sana ay maging uh, magandang uh, inspirasyon ang kwento ni uh, Joseph sa lahat ng mga ka-FI natin at ka-global Filipino. Bye everyone, God bless and stay Thank safe. You.